Welcome back to the channel, everyone. So, Saturday, October 8th in England, Connor Ben against Chris Eubank Jr. in a much anticipated bout. These two's fathers fought 30 years ago. Uh, they fought twice, in fact. And looks like the bad blood remains because um, the Suns are now going to take over center stage. Uh, Connor Ben is a natural welterweight, therefore, fighting at 147 pounds. He is undefeated, but he's got a tall task at hand here because uh, Eubank Jr fought at middleweight and super middleweight, so a substantially bigger guy. He's six feet tall or close to it. Conor Ben is only five foot eight. One fought at 147, the other one fights at 160 to 168, and now they're fighting at a catch weight of 157. So how this bout is gonna go down, in my view, is in the following manner. From what I see in the pre-fight interviews and the face-offs, I find Chris Eubank Jr. is taking Conor Ben extremely lightly, I think he's way underestimating him. And we might have a surprise the way this fight turns out. I know it's a very tall order for Ben because he is the smaller guy. He's never fought a level of competition that uh, Eubank has. But I'm going to go with a slight edge uh, in the favor of uh, Connor Ben. And I see him getting his hand raised at the end of the fight. Now remember, Eubank said that if he loses to Ben, his career is over. He's really, really... You know, uh, set on, on that, and I just think he's totally underestimating the guy. Yes, he's smaller, but smaller guys are usually quicker. And if you don't get him out of there, he may beat you on points. So, <clears throat> Connor Ben getting his hand raised at the end, the upset in my view, and uh, that's the way it's going to go down. Let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe below.